just doing the tips of his ears and I'm only going to take the very tip of his ear. So She's it, using a uh, Cremata on a, on a 15 blade setting. And this is so important, the, where she's setting this clipper line on this dog's ears. So many people take the clipper line down further, and when they do that, you don't have this hair on the side of the ear to frame out the face. Once you cut this clipper line down further than that, you're going to have a really drastic point on the dog's ear, and you're never going to get that nice, round, westy head if you do it that way. Okay, and then I just take my shears, and again, just tipping the edge of the ear, always pointing away from the dog and not towards the dog when you're, when you're doing this. Okay, now when I do my Westy heads, it's, it's a, a series of three circles. So I've got a circle here around the nose, then another circle here frames the eyes, and then the back circle is around the back part of the dog's head. So I usually start off with my first circle. And I, again, on, on him, I'm going to trim that little bit that curls into the mouth. So I'm going to comb this stuff forward. And this right here is going to form my first circle. So all the stuff that's kind of coming out past the end of his nose is going to come off. So that's my first circle coming around the end of the nose. Then this line right here from his lip is going to continue down around and start to come up to form the next circle. I didn't show head blend in the chest either. Well, aren't you a loser? Huh? <laughs> <coughs> you Can heard you that? do that for me? <laughs> She's thinking, I'm going to have to edit so much with those two. <laughs> okay, when I do this part here, I'm going to comb the hair above his eyes forward. And so this part right here is going to form my second circle. Now, on the Westies, they're supposed to have a nice, round, very spiky-looking head. So the last thing you want to do is go in and cut all the hair in the corners of the eyes because y you're not supposed to clean up in front of the eyes quite that much. Um, if you have a client that really wants you to do that, then you, know, you, can, you can do it. But don't, don't ever take a clipper inside there. If they wanted that cleaned up a little bit, what I would do, see, when you comb this up, it's all kind of spiky in there. You can actually go in with your thinning shears, and I go in in this direction and ma make a couple of swipes here and there just to kind of tame it down a little bit so it's not actually sticking up in the dog's eyes. But it should be really spiky in there. That's, that's part of the whole overall look that you're going to get when we're all done. comb this stuff back and from this line under here this is going to come up around the back of his head and form the last circle and this is so important because if you leave too much hair in this area that she's working on that you'll never be able to get a nice round head on a Westie you can't get it to balance out so the line she just showed you make sure you make that nice and tight This also will separate the dog's head from the dog's body, and we really want this expression, the dog's head, just to pop off his body, so to speak. 